I'd like to thank you for all of your prayers for me in recent months. I have had some difficult months. In fact, a few weeks ago when my back went out, my mom flew down from Oregon for the week, and then after that I hired a babysitter for the week. I ended up in the emergency room, got cortisone shots, all kinds of medications. Finally got over that, and then my neck froze up within three days. It's been, like many of you, an unending battle. But I can also say that following every flare, anything, when I pour my heart out to you or share with someone, God opens the door wide up for a new level of ministry. So when you're in those valleys, if you're able to read the Word, if you're able to study, write devotions, read devotions, whatever it is, do that and use as an opportunity to grow deeper with Him. If all you're able to do is sit there with a heating pad, that's okay too. Because God's still working in your life at that very moment, teaching you, as he's taught me, that sometimes we grow closest to him when we are able to do the very, very least. And that's a lesson hard learned, I know when we literally can't move without screaming and our world around us stops, God will close in and surround you. And you'll know that it's going to be okay someday. And I think that's one of the things I like in the scripture. Hold nothing back and he will do whatever needs to be done. He'll do whatever needs to be done. Thank you, friends, for all the support that you've given me in Rest Ministries. Thanks for all of the prayers and the ways you're reaching out to each other as well. A couple things I want to share with you real quick are um, please keep um, the Johnny and Friends Conference I'll be speaking at in prayer. That's May 13th and 14th up past um, north of L.A. During these events, it's always exhausting as I'm exhibiting and also speaking and talking to a lot of people and wanting to... Uh, try to connect and meet the needs of everyone and I usually come home and crash if I've even made it through the event so I covet your prayers for that and if you're interested in attending um, it's johnnyandfriends.org is where you can find out information I'm also connecting with many of you via phone here soon we're going to do some different phone conferences whether you're a volunteer for Hope Keepers um, a Hope Keepers leader, a volunteer for Rest Ministries or something like that I look forward to actually connecting with you on the phone and talking and finding out your needs your dreams, your goals, and how we can better serve you. And I also thank you just for the prayers for my family. We recently found out that my son has been diagnosed with ADHD. He's eight years old, and I have to say it's been an amazing blessing. We have found out and discovered so much about how he ticks the way he ticks, and with new treatment, our whole household has changed in five days, and I am seeing him blossom and grow and have the opportunity for his heart and his personality to just shine. So it's been exhausting as a mom for a while and I can say God is certainly answering some of those prayers in a big way recently. And as a mom with a chronic illness, I'm still working on that book <laughs> about how to be a mom with a chronic illness. I wish God would just let me write the book and not keep learning something new every other day so I could finish it up and wrap that thing up. But uh, I am working on it and I hope to have that done soon. And on and one more note, we are working on um, some DVDs for you um, that go along with a Bible study that you can do individually or in your Hope Keepers group, as well as a DVD with tips from the Beyond Casseroles book. This will be a great tool to be able to share with deacons or other people in your church, the pastoral staff, where they can listen to one or two tips at different meetings or refer to it, that kind of thing. So there's more things coming soon. Thank you for your support of Rest Ministries. And I hope you'll also drop by our new store. It took me six months to finally get this online. And it's going well and is active at chronicillnessbooks.com. And there's some really fun new things there. So I hope you'll check those out. Thank you so much for being a part of our family.